Welcome back everybody to Raspbian Gaming Presents. This is our ongoing playthrough for King Arthur Knight's Tale. Excited to bring you the conclusion of Act 3. We have one more main mission to go deep in the deep woods. Not sure that's actually what it's called, um, but for sure uh, it's something like that. So we just have to do this. Let me see. My knights wandering in the forest. Send word that the wild hunt is right towards one of my villages, which would be a perfect opportunity to take revenge on the she. The wild hunt only disbanded the death of their hunt master. Cursed champion is almost immortal. Like her. Still about to go. All right. Let's send Sir Brunor out there again. <laughs> let's jump to the adventure map. Next mission, only mission, Heart of the Deep Wood, level 16. I got a couple 16s, a couple 15s, and a 14. Unfortunately, balance out of action, so I'm probably going to have to run with a 14 here as Sir Dagonet is out of business too. So it's probably, and we know Sir Mordred's going to have to go. The time has come to face Arthur's other soul fragment, hidden in the heart of the forest. The most sacred and terrifying sanctuary of the she in avalon i wonder what shape and form my old enemy will take this time but i'm ready to destroy his twisted nightmare self again there we go he's still level 16 just like the red knight was let's start the mission and jump into the heart of the deep wood Let's see what's happening. This is incredible. They have reached the most well-hidden place in Avalon. to kill all right and so we shall Mordred, ruler of Camelot leader of the fallen we must talk your lack of gratitude is infuriating I was the one who helped you to reach this place remember well in a way it is true I wouldn't have been able to find the heart of the Deepwood if I weren't following the mark I bestowed upon you. The Light of the Moon. I've already told you that the Green Knight must be destroyed, which means we are both here for the same reason. In the old times, the Unsealy were united under the command of a strong queen. My court wants to return to the old ways. Everything has been going to plan so far. But I still need to deal with the Green Knight somehow. We must fight together whether you like it or not. I am well prepared. I know the secrets of the Mysterious Heart. You need me. The Lord of this place is the Watcher. One of the few remaining She Warlocks. We must face him eventually. The guards are carefully selected Seely and Unseely warriors who belong to neither of the courts anymore. They obey only the Watcher. We are both intruders to them. Yeah, so I'm most certainly going to take all the help we can get. So fine, we should fight together. It's going to be the answer. I'm sure she's probably quite powerful in her own right. So Night Vale must survive. Reach the heart of the dark deep woods. We haven't looked yet at the map, but it's pretty plain that we have a couple of side branches. One back here and then over here. There she is. Let's go grab the shrine. Camelot. When I rise in power, I will stand ready to rally the might of the Unseelie Court to your aid. We could be allies. There are few. Th Protection. Use it for the Black Knight. Deliver us from temptation. Some loot. 
another shrine. Place of devotion. Swiftness. Use it on Mordred. Might have been better on um, Boudicca, but never know. And I want my tank to be able, whoops, to get out there in time. Get out in front if we need to. A lot of times we're going to be holding back and letting them come to us, but. Splendid. They already know that we are here. The Watcher is observing our every move through the Wisp. Mordred of Camelot, you mistake recklessness for bravery. You shouldn't disturb the silence of this sacred site. I want to deliver you a message from the Watcher. We know you regard yourself as the savior of Avalon, but you are only bringing doom here. Leave. If you enter this gate, you will pay the price with blood. And so it shall be. Lots of ranged. Did he really think he could forbid me to enter? Okay, time to see what she has available to us. Magic Bolt, Ice Rain, and Ice Storm. Okay. Nothing special going on here. For my forefathers. Let's throw down an encouragement right off the bat. Go back to Mordred. I'm gonna try and get up in here as quick as we can. We could just go and smack this guy. Normally I like to use Thunderbolt right in the beginning because it stuns people. Six or cost of six. That's like six to here, five to here, six to here. Can't reach them. So if we can't reach them, I'm not going to worry about him. I'm just going all the way. want to put a chill so we're reducing his AP cost. Oh, we can fire a couple times tonight. Which one shall I take? We seem to be having a line of sight problem. Now we don't. What is your command? As much as I like to teleport and kill this guy, which would put us over there, might make sense to actually do that. Let me see. Yeah, we can get behind him. Oh, we can't kill him. No. Two swings we can. Left. She has no more left. Okay, everybody's finished. Your 
range of eight, range of eight. We are just so far from using those. Which one should I take? Yeah, so the question is, I think I try and come this way and deal with these all by herself. There's a stun and an attack that's always unfair, but it is what it is. And we must keep her alive, remember, but we're going to use some of this right here. fire over here which, one shall I which we could do the same but we are not close to anybody It travels. How far can we go with this? We can damage my guys, which isn't too cool. Reserve that one point. Let's see what we got going over here. Facing that way, please face the enemy. It looks like everybody. Let's see what happens here. up left and right okay so let's first start over here it's not behind but there is no behind for that person that dawnbreaker enemy. surprise attack is enough we're out of jump can't get any more so let's just hide move forward a little bit I don't want to get accidentally revealed reserve okay so well we'll come back to let me check what out yeah man, this sucks Six by six and three by three. Reserve. Army. Army. 
his armor. Put a weakness on this dude. And strike this fool. Alright, we're stunned, which is even better. I can take them. We can't do anything again this turn. So we're three turns in and I've only been able to attack with him once. Because they somehow managed to stun me every single turn. What are we waiting for? Okay, now I think we're close enough to Drop a ring of fire. Drop three on this person. I'll have three points left. That freaking blows. We can move. This cost us four. Spin this around. Oh, we can't reach that spot. Hide and move over here as far as we can. Guys with these fucking dodges all the time. Unfreaking believable. Stunned again. See, stunned again. I just, it's, and that that you can get stun locked that easy in this game is a touch frustrating. My best damage dealer, and I got to attack with him twice in six turns or five turns. Just unbelievably lopsided. Since we were auto pushed into this area, or the attack started before we could absolutely get into this area, just want to do a quick little wander around, make sure we've identified any treasure. Campfire to the left. Let's go see if there's any other fighting, because I would like to get some armor back on on my dude right here. I was reborn here on the mystical island of Avalon. A new chapter in the knight's tale. Armor. I slept like a log. Uncealy respects nothing more than power and severity. Why and are you telling me this now? With those stuns, you, you can see why you need um, debuffs. Both physical and mental. Meet your ambitions. I told you that I am prepared. Just wait see. and see. Oh, we can't see him. Yeah, stuns are a physical debuff. He only has 10% resistance. Alright, the next area. Campfire to our right, but let's see what's this way. We'll probably get in a fight before we can move all the way there, like I said. Where are they? Closer than you think. Alright, Night Vale. Oh, 
know, some of the fog dudes. The time has come. Eliminate the humans. Damn traitor. Finish her first. Got to put some of these fall guys down. Put this on her. Which one shall I take? As the future queen of the Unseelie, I shouldn't waste my time on a puppet like you. destroy the green knight your actions serve me either way that is after all your purpose here human king no problem bitch. and that's how you it's finish over. that fight they are dead that witch is a snake fuck her sorry ass us. quickly we don't have time to hunt her down we must reach the heart of the deep wood follow me we do not need that campfire We don't have time to hunt her down, but I'm going to go take a look this other direction. Exploration, 100% completion. Lots of XP. That's how I roll. What is this looking thing? Oh, this looks like the horde symbol don't from WoW. To move. Don't even breathe. That's the foulest and most irritable creature I've ever seen. A rabbit. Well then, we live to fight another day. Something to feast our eyes upon. served the lady for a very long time, Mordred. I know Avalon and the secrets this place hides. Alright, let's head off to the next section here. See what we got going for us. What we can do. They must be the first humans to see that sacred place. The heart is not entirely part of Avalon anymore. That's the Green Knight. That's the Warlock. This guy's gonna have one hit point, but you can't hurt him. He's gonna create portals, which you gotta tear down. Which one should Encouragement. Kneel before your king. Your 
to get make sure I get both portals. Fire rain. See, he took damage because they took damage. So if you're beating up this, these portals, and the guys that come through, you'll be damaging him too. All the armor stripped off. We're working them down. We're seeing Black Knights out in front. So let's see if everybody is stunned or not. Also, she's gonna stick. None can stand in my way. And because they can throw that stuff, you become automatically oh, revealed, focus. which is bogus because it ruins the best mechanic about vanguards. She has her pretend armor for a minute. How we got revealed again. Not even sure why you would bring a Vanguard on this mission, since every time you just you automatically get revealed. It's the most bullshitty stuff that's imaginable. All right, who can? Well, we can't reach that guy. What is your command? Well, probably should have threw it on there. I put it on the dude instead, but... Oh, there's a guy right in front of me. Didn't see him. to go one step to get teleported over to this guy and out of the, out of the thingy can't hurt this guy so there's no point in trying to hurt him all 
Alright, end of our turn. When these portals come back open again, we have to pay attention to the guys that uh, stun. Fire and steel. Let me go one more over. Or should we not, so that I could conceivably attack him from behind with this person. But we don't have a stun on him. I don't have Thunderbolt left. I don't have Stigma left. None can stand in my way. She has four points left. We drop a fire ring, but let me see what we can do with Budasia. Can we get there? We can, but the deal is if I do that, I, I don't know if I should bother to drop the fire on him or not. Face completely backwards. That's definitely what we want to do. So many offerings. Put him and the Green Knight in fire and the portal in the fire. It's about the best I can do. We have a whole shit ton of points, but I'm gonna save them. Stunned and stunned, and then he's gonna get the lightning. Bullshit. Alright, this guy, we're gonna stun you in the turn, fool. I have to take the opportunity attack to get out of the square. We don't have enough left to hit him. See what we got going here. We'll hold on to the ice for the next group. Let's move behind cover. Okay, he can't do anything, so he's gonna get smoked next turn. Uh. Phase two. Black Knight survives for another turn, maybe. Down and stayed down. Is that the deal there? No, he's back up.
percent resistant. Gotta stop doing that. None can stand in my way. That's gonna have to be that. Let's make sure we get him faced the right way. All right. After his turn. Summon a gate. That's not good. They are turn. Just gonna have to handle these dust storms. Tempted to do the leap attack now that we have a bunch of armor. Land here, we won't hurt Mordred. Damage so 20 points of damage for being in the storm. He's going to continue to be in the storm. Let's create the opportunity to attack this way I can get behind. Because he already did his opportunity attack. Backstabs, saw 50 points worth of damage there. And there we go, victory, way to go. Good job, everybody. But something is wrong. So wrong. The death of the Green Knight feels like a blow that has fractured Avalon. And the darkness of the void beyond is trickling through. This is not what was supposed to happen. Yeah, I guess we were supposed to die, but there's a couple of chests up here, so don't forget them. An artifact and heavy armor and a relic for staffs. Ah. Succotash. Okay. So there we go. Everything done, let's finish the mission. Heart of the Deepwood. Let's see if we got enough experience points to level up my lower level people here. Luckily for us, Balan will be back. Or should be. Oh yeah, we get the cutscenes or the cinematics for the end of Act 3. 
All you had to do was kill. What the hell are you talking about? There's one shard left, and it's all over. You must have unleashed something when you killed the Green Knight. It was the only task I gave you, stupid mortal. Enough of this. Watch your tone, my lady. are returning. Returning from where? Those beasts tried to conquer my island at the dawn of time. I had to sacrifice my dragons to defeat them and banish Balor, their god, into the void. It must be Arthur's doing. In his final despair, his last fragment reached out to your adversaries. Move against the Fomorians and find Arthur's last fragment among them. Try to kill him properly, if it's not too much to ask. Trust me, I'm not in the habit of sparing my enemies. Nice. How cool is that? Oh, we got a couple level ups, three level ups, and the achievement down there, final despair. Let's see what this staff is. Oh, we've seen this thing before. Not particularly great for us. All right. Act four. Sir Brunor has returned. My knight clashed with the wild hunt. Despite the odds, the battle was won. More experience points for him and loyalty increased by two. Challenge reward available. Plus 5% vitality to the selected hero. Heal 300 vitality, that's what gave us that. Let's claim it. So Balan is recovered. Sir Dagonet is healed from injury. But I think he's still suffering. Yes. So the hospice. Oh, three missions, that's brutal. It's going to be nearly all the way to the end of the game for him. Okay, but I'm not going to spend the money. We're a little low, and you saw what happens when you don't have money. You're a little bit jammed up. All right, so let's do the level ups, starting with the Black Knight. Two points. Like I said, we should have reset him and got rid of this power attack and dealt with more ranged Earthshaker. I'm still tempted to do that. So let me think about him. Let's do this one for now. And then if we reset him, we reset him. Let's look at Balan. Still has one. And we didn't want to spend it here or here. There's no point spending it here, so it's a point we can't use anywhere. Lady Budasia, who just leveled. grab assassination while we're at it then we can start grabbing all the little side ones we need Lady Morgana level three points nice let's do that Or let's reduce it by a turn. Everybody else we're good on. We probably should have the Black Knight go here. Should just be one mission. Yep. We'll heal a little bit. His little bit of injury, vitality. Let's sacrifice this bad boy after the next mission. These are all done. Alright, 
Don't forget to friend and follow us on Twitch. Much appreciated having you guys along on these streams. If you're on YouTube, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Since this is the end of Act 3, I'm going to end this one here. Before we jump into a bunch of Act 4 stuff, you can see we're a little bit hurting on some backup experience. Let me check the training grounds here. So every hero 8% mission XP after every mission they did not participate in. So people are getting some along the way. It's just not much. And then we'll have to look at the next mission and see if it's going to be worthwhile to... We should leave him available. And depending on whether we go on a side or a main, one of these two guys should be available. You can see we can level him up. Um, I might have to pull these guys out. Sir Balan would be two, so he needs to go. She would be two, 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 three. And he can't go because he's in a hospice. Okay. So that's kind of where we're at. Don't want to spend the 1800. That'll strip us way down here. Leave us about 400, which is shaky. But we can restock the merchants good immediately. I don't have much to buy it with, but then it sits... Well, it's going to turn over next round anyway, so let's save this one. And after the next mission, we can look, and if it's not something we want, we can... Or if there's nothing good there, we can hit this and redo it. And then the laws, plus one loyalty, probably can afford to back this off and get my 18 more experience as we go. That'll also boost up every side people's experience yep so let's do that and now let me take a look at everybody's loyalty no harm no foul no harm no foul he's already maxed she drops she does 10% less it kind of hurts her and almost well it's, it's not a big loss for her because she wasn't in this level it is a loss for him of one AP. So it is a little bit costly, but that's what we're going to go with. All that going on. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Enjoy having you guys. I've got a bunch of questions out there for, for people. I've been answering on my YouTube channel. Feel free to ask me all the questions you want. I'll definitely answer every comment. With all of that, you guys, please be safe out there. And we will catch you next time. Thank you.